hey you guys and welcome back to my channel so in today's video i wanted to do a quick tutorial on all of the different ways you can hang a hammock whether that's for your rats your chinchillas your ferrets um, there's several different methods to hanging hammocks there's also reasons why you would use different methods um, some pets cannot be have strapping because they may chew it and it's unsafe some people don't need things to hang really low from their cage because maybe you have an animal who wants who can climb and doesn't need really low hanging hammocks um, so there's different reasons why you would use different types of hanging methods and there's also different um, hooks and ways to hang things. So without further ado, let's jump right in. Okay, so the first way we're gonna talk about is with poly strapping. Um, if you just wanted to use just strapping, what you would do is you would cut yourself a piece of strapping. If you wanted your hammock to hang five inches from the top of the cage, you would cut a 10 and a half inch piece of strapping. You would fold it in half and that would give you a half an inch to sew. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add them on facing inside. So you want the hoops facing inside on opposite corners of each other. So we're going to put one here on the corner, like about an inch in from the corner. And when you stitch this, make sure that you go over these like two or three times so that you know that they're in place so that they don't ever come loose and cause your babies to fall or anything. Here's the hammock, the basket that I made, and that is the straps. Um, and that brings me to these hooks. These are basically shower hooks. You can purchase them on Amazon. Um, they're pretty inexpensive. They also sell them on Etsy. They open up. And essentially what you do is you just hook them through here and through the bars of your cage and you have a hook. And they work with grommets as well. Um, I send these hooks with all of my basket hammocks. So they come automatically with a purchase um, from my shop for a hammock like this or any hammock where um, hooks are not included. You could also use your poly strapping and attach hooks to it. Um, I keep a ton of these hooks on hand. So we have several varieties here. You have your plastic swivel hooks. Um, then you have these are metal hooks and these are all swivel hooks. Basically what that means is that this turns around so there really is not a right or wrong way. And then I have my silver swivel hooks. Again, I got these on Amazon. I will link, I'll put links to all of it in the description. Um, and I'm also gonna cut to a quick video on how I attach the hooks to the strapping. For your hook, you're gonna burn the edge of your strapping just a little bit so that it's just stop spraying and then you're going to slide this in your slide bar so you have it like this you want to fold it over about an inch just like this we're going to stick it under your presser foot you want to make sure that you keep your presser foot and your, your needle you want your needle away from that metal so you're going to put that down there and you're going to lower this make sure these are lined up and then you're going to stitch down up spin it you want it to come caddy corner you're gonna go straight up now pull back you don't want to do not hit your metal bar now this is where it gets a little tricky so you got to push this out of the way something that looks just like this. And then you cut your excess thread off. The next way that you can hang them is with a D-ring. So you could do the same thing instead of the hook, you would hook your D-ring, you would fold it over like this and you would stitch, and then you would have this and you would have to put this end into your hammock. So you could use a D-ring and once you have your D-ring, you could use something like this, or you could use carabiners. You can get these um, at Walmart. They're two for 99 cents. They are great for these. 
to use with D-rings. Okay, so let's say that you had a hammock and you want it to be adjustable. You would get a basic slide bar. You can get these at Walmart, Joann's, you can get them at Amazon. Um, they're pretty inexpensive. You would take your poly strapping just like you did with your, um, you're going to stitch this in place just like you did with your hooks. You put it through one hole and over top the other hole, just like this. You want to put it about an inch and a, inch and a half. So you're going to have something that looks like this. You're going to stitch this in place. You will have something that looks like this. To add on your hook, you have the wrong side facing you. You want to take your hook, you want to put it on the end like this. So your hook should be facing down. If your hook is facing up, you're not, you're going to end up with it backwards. So put it like this. You want to go through your first hole and over top of your second. So just like that. And now you have your adjustable strap. And you can sew it in place with the loose end. And when you're done, you'll have an adjustable strap on your hammocks. And you can make these obviously as long as you want to. Okay, so for those of you who have pets who can't have strapping because they chew strapping, you would want to use grommets. Now, there's two different ways you can put grommets on. I'll start with the grommet tool. I want to say this about the grommet tool. You can buy this at Joanne Fabrics. You can buy it online. Whatever you do, if you buy this from Joanne Fabrics, please use a coupon. Please do not pay $29.95 for this tool. You're supposed to be able to use this tool to poke a hole in your fabric and then pinch your grommet closed. But I have yet to be able to pinch a hole through any kind of fleece using this tool, probably because it's so thick and it may or may not be made for fleece. So for what I use this tool for, I only use it to close off my grommets. So you can get grommets two different ways. We're going to talk about this way first. These types of grommets you have to use with the tool. If you look at this grommet, it's, there's no pointy, it's all flush. You see the spike on the grommet. That is the grommet you need to have a hammer to put on and another type of tool. So we're going to start with the ones that don't, that, that, that need the, um, that need this tool right here. We're going to find a corner of the fabric where we're going to put the grommet right here. And the way that I do this is you want to place your grommet. So you want to say it's going to go right here. You don't want it to be over top of your seam lines. So somewhere in the middle. So like right here would be good over a little bit like right in the center there. Now, and then typically you would mark a spot. I'm just gonna go for it because I do this a lot. You wanna find the center and I do it like this. I get a sharp pair of scissors and I literally push through. And then once I'm in, I open it up and you just gotta make sure that you have a hole in your fabric. You guys can see that. Now you're going to put this piece um, on the good side of your fabric so poke it through. And I might not have made this hole big enough. Let's see. So if it's not big enough that's okay. You just make it a little wider. So you should have something that looks like this. And you see the back and this like this. And then you take your little silver piece. You take the shiny side, should be facing up. There is a dollar side. You take your tool, the pink part goes on the bottom with the part with the lip. And then you just squeeze. When you're done, you have something that looks like this. And then the back side looks like this. So for these grommets with the spiky part, you would need a grommet tool um, that looks like this. So it looks just like this. So this back portion fits inside of here like this. And then you have your fleece between. You put your pointy, your spiky bottom on. And then you take this and you put it in the center. And you hammer it in place a couple of times. Pretty decent. And you want to do it on a hard surface like concrete something like that and it will um, lock your grommet into place. So that is how these are. So if you go to the store and you buy these from like Walmart, make sure that you buy the grommet tool that looks like this. 
if you are buying, again, if you're buying grommets that have the flat and they don't have any spikes, you would have to have this tool to put those on or something similar to this tool. Um, and that is basically how you hang your hammocks if you have pets that would eat strapping. The last way that you can do it is by just taking a small piece of fleece, cutting it about an inch. You don't want it you about an inch wide and um, however long you want it. Again, if you want it to be really short because you have animals that don't require long hammocks, they can climb, um, then you would make it short. You would put this in just like you would any other strapping and you would sew it in place and you could have a fleece strap. And this would be ultimately safe for sure if your pet ate any kind of strapping or just was a chewer in general, it would be much safer than poly strapping. A lot of people use this for um, sugar gliders. It's real big to use fleece as opposed to anything else, honestly. Okay guys, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please click the like button. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell so that you never miss an upload. If you don't sew and you were looking for a hammock, I am gonna promote myself here and tell you that I have an Etsy shop where I sell all of these things that I showed in the video. And if you see an item and you were looking for a specific way to hang it, just shoot me a message by clicking the contact button on my shop's homepage right below my profile picture. And I will be more than happy to work with you so that you can have an item that you need or want for your fuzzy baby. Thank you again. Have a great week, you guys.